DPS. So let's check where we left off here. Let's go take a look at the rosters. It's been a couple days since I've recorded this series. <laughs> check out the goalies first. Tanak and Lundberg, two starting goalies. Maybe I should roll with them for now and see uh, what to do. Yo, JP. Brookbank is a goddamn legend in this series. Defense, one, two. Oh, that was the problem, yes. What do you guys think? Do you think I should trade Tanaka? Yeah, do you think I should trade Tanaka for a, for a defenseman? Because it's not looking good here. <laughs> we don't have a, a top defenseman in the NHL here. We got to make some moves for a defenseman for sure. And then our forwards. One. Got to get rid of three of these guys. How's Larson? Eh, he can go down. Kulikov. Defensively. Garbage. Good skater though. Actually, Reich was pretty good for us. If I believe so. Yeah, look at that defensive stats. Brandstrom? Listen, JP. It all went to shit after we won that second Stanley Cup. The Senators, we, we disintegrate it. We lost Shabbat. We lost to Brandstrom. We couldn't afford anybody. We were, we are in the hole. We had to, uh, we had to make some moves. We had to get rid of some players, so... Look at now we got a bit of cap where we can sign a defenseman, but it, it was not looking good. So we we definitely got to trade for a top two defenseman. Like look at Noah Hannafin. This guy's making fourteen million dollars. How can I afford this? Someone like this. This guy eighty five. He's making seven million dollars, and he's only eighty five overall. It's hard. It's hard to to keep together a good defensive core here. If I can pick up someone though. Like, even this Walsh guy, super good, but nine point, like $10 million. Ryan Nolan. This guy here is actually a pretty good contract. I think $7 million for seven years at 83 overall, medium elite. Let's go take a look at him. Look at those puck skills. It's honestly just his puck, skill, puck skills that are uh, keeping his overall up. Let's see how he does. I mean, yeah, 28 points, 18, 19 points, and he's a penalty taker. I don't really, I don't want Nathaniel Cors Corson. Vancouver, oh, Quinn Hughes would be lovely. Toronto, Rasmus Sandin's older in the series now. Lilla Green's older. They got worse defensive core than we do. Tampa. What's this guy's contract? No, he's going to want a big one. Are 15 million dollars almost this lane guy that doesn't seem like a terrible contract take McDavid it's, we, I tried trading for Nathan McKinnon last time it's impossible to get those players like, it's literally impossible I don't want Lang Hmm. There, this is it's not looking good. Defensively, it looks like we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna struggle here. This guy is not terrible. His contract, I don't think, but 83 overall is not nearly as high as I need it to be. Unless we sign, we trade for this guy. He looks like a stud. It's good everywhere. This guy's good everywhere. 15 points last year you know what we're adding a superstar in we need a superstar this guy's 85 overall and that's as much of his trade value there is that's insane Oh yeah, I couldn't even find sign this guy. 
this guy's not even on my team because I can sign him. I mean, if I can make this trade. I couldn't afford him last year, so. Auto back to losing again. When did Ovi retire? Ovi retired like three years ago, I think. I don't think he got to, to get the Stanley Cup with us. I kind of want these guys a pick here, too. Because we're, we're going to be going through rebuild. The Rangers first. Do I have another player I can just give up here? See, Ulet's not... He's not going to make my team. I don't think. So many players. Tough. You know what? Actually, I need defensemen. This guy's never going to make the squad. That guy's not going to make the squad. And you know what? I'm going to part ways with... Uh, I don't know if I want to get rid of this guy, though. He's pretty good. Who the heck's this guy? $10 million for one year? Who the hell is this guy? Nah, nah, I don't want this guy. I don't even remember trading for this guy. Get this guy out of here. $10 million for one year. So it will go through if I make this trade. What if I do this? Still go through. Ten million dollars. So they want that guy. They want this guy. Should I make the trade with it? This guy right here, the ten million dollar man. They will accept this trade. Should I do it? What do you guys think in chat? Is he at simping again? Is he at always simping? Yeah. Should I trade this guy away? What do you guys think? Or should I keep him? Statistically, he's not that bad. He'd be pretty good. But then we get a really good defenseman. Make the trade. Make the trade. All right. Boom. Done. Trade has been made. Yeah, $10 million. That guy's crazy. Who, what does he think this is? Okay. So the goalies are fine. Defense, we definitely took a step back. Took a step back, I'm not gonna lie. Where's that guy I just traded for? I think his name's Malstrom. Is that him? Did I miss him? Yeah, Malstrom right here. This guy, the amount I just gave up for him, better be a goddamn stud. You want me to try kick tires on Connor McDavid? I don't think I can get him, but I mean, for you, I'll do it. Defensively, this guy's not even that impressive. Chuberoff. Let's go take a look at in the system. Let's probably better than Bang, to be honest. Core cost probably even better. Defensive defenseman, two twenty one, six foot four. What's his potential? Medium top six, medium top six for him too. Medium top four. How old is he? 22. I'm going to bring the lead up instead of bang. And bring Chubbin off down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got too many of these guys up here. We need to bring a forward up. Who's getting promoted? Isaac Radcliffe? Nah, nah. Kulikov. Lark oh, should we bring Daniel Offertson's son up? Holy God, we're bringing Daniel Offertson's son up. Fuck it. Alfie's son's coming up. Now let's go bring down that last defenseman. Chubinov, I think it was. Yes. Eh. See who's better defensively. Chupinov goes down. All right, here we go. This is the team. Boletsky is definitely our first line. That guy's a stud. 
I kind of want to put Alfredson up here and just test him out. Oh, this guy's got a great passing and offensive awareness. What's Alfredson? Alfredson's even better. Offensive awareness is not that good, though. I'll keep him down there for now. Jake Gunzel. I don't even know I had him. Fourth line, though? That's a bit mean. Let's go like that. Charlie King. You know, our offense is still goddamn great. Like, if you ask me, Brady Chuck's on the fourth line, though, at Logan Brown. That's a uh, uh, yikes. Yeah, I'll try it out like this. Defensively. Defensively is where we struggle. <laughs> For sure. special teams here power play so Bletsky. okay like we're missing okay Brooke Bink and Yulon over there I'm okay with Fen again off playing there to Chuck and Brown are not gonna be playing on the power play sorry guys um Walters definitely actually Walters on the other one let's see Gensel probably should go on there. I think he was on there actually already. Yeah, he was. Gensel, Logan Brown. I do not want Logan Brown on power play. Oh, that's why I'm forgetting. Emer Emerson needs to be on the point where... Honestly, Emerson can go here. And then I'll move him around to the point. Right wing. Emerson, this guy's got the best slap shot in the freaking NHL. I want to put him here. I want to load up this line. Just like that. Afinaganov, Alfredson, King, Walters. He's already playing, so let's get him out of there. And we'll put Malstrom. Alright, there we go. Power play line. Penalty kill. Penalty kill. This is where we need the big guys. To Chuck, great defensively. Brown, great defensively. Walters, great defensively. Then Reich, great defensively. To be honest, to Chuck can probably be replaced, but what's Reich looking like? Reich's better, but I think he's out there. Yeah. Um, Alfredson's shitty defensively. How about a. Uh, Jake Gensel here. Four and a bit. Not much better. Logan Brown. He's playing defense already. Uh, Yulinov. No, I'm not going to put these guys on defense. Oh, I would love to put Brookbank out there. I don't care who you are. Brookbank makes your team immediately better. Alright, I have no idea what to expect this year from the team. I have no clue what to expect. Sim to the regular season here. Who do we got opening night? We got the Boston Bruins opening night. The 2030 season, the Sens are coming off back-to-back -back championships. I mean, can we go for the three-peat? I don't know. I don't even know if it's possible to go for the three-peat at this point, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna hope and pray. Hope and pray for the best. We do not want to make any of these garbage trades that the computer always sends me. It's been a couple days since I recorded this series, so I forgot the, the cap hell that we were in. Our great defenseman Thomas Shabbat and Eric Brandstrom, we had to move on from. Oof. Alright, here we go. The beginning of the 2030 season, October 8th, first game in Boston. You know the deal. We got to simulate game one. Got to simulate game one. I'm expecting to score on a lot this year. A lot. First period, I mean, we need to get scored on. Second period, there we go. Jake Gunsel 
offseason pickup. Gets the first goal of the season for the Ottawa Senators. Timoshov scores on Tanaka right away in the beginning of the third. And another fellow from Boston scores. And we lose the 1-0 lead. 10 minutes left in the third period. Can we bounce back? Hulz gets one. I need one from Boletsky. I need a goal from Boletsky here. To Chuck. To Chucky Cheese. 3-2 Ottawa with five minutes left. And we got a power play. Can we take game one of the regular season? Road to 82-0. Road to 82-0. Let's check out the three stars there. It looks like our top line didn't really do much, but Tanaka had a great game. He's really turned into our franchise goalie these past couple of years. He's like a rock back there. Let's go simulate a, a couple months. Go to this Boston game. We'll meet back up with them soon. Look at that. One game and we get a week off to, to rest. Yeah, I don't. I have no clue how this team's going to look. But uh, we're off to an okay start. 2-1. and one. Washington's off to a 1-4-1 one, and one start. And we beat them, which is great. So, yeah, what are we uh, What are we going to do with our defensemen? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, though. Is there a player that we think we should go for? Who do you think we should go for here? And we got to turn off these trade uh, notifications. I tried trading from Nathan McKinnon for one of my viewers, and that that is honestly next to impossible to trade for Nathan McKinnon. I gave him, like, three times the value back, and they still didn't want to do it. Yeah, I really also didn't want to get rid of Dorothy. But last year, I mean, he's got a good overall, good potential. Might as well trade him because he, he didn't really have a spot on my team anymore. Offensively, the team's really good. It's just defensively, we got a, a couple things to work on here. We got back-to-back -back games against Dallas, and we win the Bulls 7-5 and 3-2. And we're good with a 9-2 record here, you know? I didn't think we'd be this good defensively, so. 4-1 win. Back-to-back -back Philly versus uh, Toronto. Got them both. Two big wins, and that's oh yeah, the Sens are cleaning up now. Pittsburgh's also 15 and two though right now. Big game here. Can we beat them? Or not Pittsburgh? Who was it? Boston 16 and three, and we lose to Boston. So they're 18 and three. We're 16 and three. So it just looks like we're cruising. Here we go so boston 21 4 and 1 we're 24 and 0 we beat bot we have one win against boston boston has one win against us let's see this is the battle of the titans here clearly all right here we go battle of the titans first period we're in ottawa this time wow Completely different from the other game, except for that Getzel and, and to Chucker scoring. These these are two leading scorers ever since I've been watching. They get goals from Alex Texier, Noah Dobson, and Jake Verana. We're getting out shot 12 to 11. Not that big of a deal. Let's go second period. Tanaka got lit up here. Bo Horvat gets two goals. Ahonen gets one, and Yulanov gets one for us. Let's get the slow sim going. Power play to get back into the game. No, can't do it. It looks like Boston's got our number on this one, maybe. Bletsky gets one. Ilya Samsonov. Eight minutes left. If we can get another one. No, they, they, they probably iced it there with that power play goal. I'm going to simulate the rest. And we lose 7-4 to the Boston Bruins. Who looks like if we both can make the conference finals, it looks like that's who we're going to be playing this year. Let's go check out the stats, though. Oh, my. This guy. This guy is... Probably the best player in the NHL right now. Kip Brookbanks leading the Senators with 43 points in 25 games. Only a plus three. Boletsky's right behind him with 39. And Walters, second line center, 32. Ulanov, who's playing on that top line. Just not putting up the same amount of points, which is okay. Um, we got Afinaganov, which this is exactly how I thought he was going to play. 20 assists, just one goal. And Emerson's got 14 goals. Seven assists, though. I think that's a record for him. Normally, he puts up no assists. Gensel's having a great year. Alfredson, 7-7 seven and seven on the third or fourth lines. Pretty good. King's playing well. There's Malmstrom, that defenseman we just traded for. He gets a lot of shots, just not the best shooting percentage, though. Logan Brown, Reich, Braidstruck. I guess out of... Uh, he's got three goals, and I slow simulate two games where he scored. So, you know, I like it. Drysdale never puts up the goals. 
Vulcan and Ulet. The points are there. The points are there. I mean, there's nothing we can complain about. The team's, the team's playing Unreal. Let's go check the whole NHL. And Kip Brookbank and his, his good old friend Luke Kemp. These guys are one and two in the NHL for sure. 22 years old, 23 years old. Brookbank's 96, Kemp's 96. These guys are the face of the NHL for a very, very long time. Um, Colombe, Colombe for the Florida Panthers. Almost a goal per game. Pretty impressive. 40 points. Boletsky's right there. Barkov, who's playing with Colombe. Uh, Dylan Strom, Lafreniere, Laffy Taffy, Alex DeBrincat. Who's this guy? Good stats, good stats. Clayton Keller, you're seeing a lot more rookies coming here now. Alex Nylander. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of rookies. This guy, this guy's the other guy. The other young 26-year-old franchise, medium franchise potential, 96 overall. He's also a stud. All right, well, let's go see the team stats too. See who's uh, how the NHL is stacking up here, entire league. So we're second in the NHL, only to Boston and Detroit. So, and then Florida. So the top four teams in the NHL are all from the Atlantic Division. That's a tough division this year. Honestly, this is the most surprising fact. Goals against per game, we're only giving up 2.84 goals per game. Best in the NHL by a decent amount. That's impressive. Goals four per game. And then we're second. So it's looking good. Power play percentage 37. Woo. Penalty kill is not good though. The penalty kill is not good. So maybe we should take a look at that penalty killing unit. I guess like middle of the pack. Not terrible. Last 10. 8-2-0 for Boston. 7-3-0 for us. I think we also have the Montreal Canadiens first round pick. So let's see how they're doing. Oh, this might be good. And didn't we have St. Louis's? It looks like we might just have two great draft picks coming up too. If so, we're looking at a good spot. We got Detroit next on the schedule is third in the NHL. I'm going to assimilate that. Looks like we're cruising here. Let's do a couple more months. Let's see, Boston again. Always stopping on Boston. They're turning into a rival, the Boston Bruins. I believe they, uh, these guys almost took us out in the playoffs twice in a row, so. <laughs> That's not good for our defensive stats, letting us seven goals. But we bounce back with two wins. Yeah, we just, we just score a lot, a lot, a lot of goals. There we go, 2-1. Good defensive win against the Winnipeg Jets, and then we bounce back with a loss. Check your trades to see if they have their picks. I'll check it. Uh, I don't want to get too excited now. We lost Montreal. I'm pretty sure we have Montreal. I'll, I'll check in uh, at the deadline to see who we have. Because if we have two teams that, that are potentially lottery picks with the team we have, then we can pick up a sweet defenseman. It's going to be clutch. Because losing Shabbat and Branstrom, although defensively we're better this year, I think it kind of hurts us offensively because how good they are offensively. But yeah, we're we're already at 30 wins. Never mind. Now we are. We beat the Vegas Golden Knights. Hi Zed. How are you, Zed? I miss you, Zed. Yo, JP, did you see my my message to you? You did. Yo, Zed Shabbat. And Branch from gone. It's not good. Our defenseman, our best player, was 83 overall coming to the season. And we have the best defensive stats. So, Caroline, there's that Boston game again. Let's see. Are they ahead of us still? 40, 12, and 3. They played two more games than us. They won both of them. Big game against Boston. Here we go. First period. We're one and one in slow simulations against them. We got one from Lundin. Their goalie's Otter Eyes. Otter Eyes, and we got Tanak in. There we go. Big bounce back in the second period. We scored three. Brookbank. Excuse me. Genzel and Joel. Or Nick Emerson. And then third period, we beat Boston. 
You love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's go into. Uh, let's get to the deadline. The day before the deadline. Check everything out for us. Let's see if we can get to 43, 44 wins before the deadline. This might be a 60 win season. Th this has potential of being a 60 win season. We've basically got to win almost all the rest of the games of the year, but this has got potential here. We got potential for a 60 win season. Actually, let's just go into the deadline. We're always buyers. We're buyers. Enter trade deadline. Who is this stud? Glenn Sylvester. 95 franchise. Oh my god. So the problem is you can trade for this guy, but he's got zero. He hasn't even been signed yet, so I couldn't even afford him if I wanted to. So I'm not going to try going for Sylvester. Ratty Quinn Hughes. Ryan Merkley, Jacob Chichurin, Noah Hannafin, all these old punks. I'm definitely not. Oh, okay. Interesting. 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 Do we want to trade our first since we know we're going to be a playoff team for Ryan Merkley? And then we can also get their third. This will definitely make our defensive core much better. What do you guys think? Should we make this trade? Ziad, Zadi B, JP Donnelly. What do you guys think? I am not trading Tanaka to you. I can tell you that for a fact. What was that Hannafin trade? Where is he? Hannafin, Hannafin, Hannafin. Was it Hannafin? No, it was Merkley. Do you guys think I should make this Merkley trade? Our first? Yeah, we got the Rangers. Oh, it's our first next year. Interesting. I'll give him a... Th like, honestly... What, would you do that? <laughs> I don't think you will, but... <laughs> Defenseman, center, for our first next year. Actually, they might be taking our first this year. I don't want that trade then. I think they're taking our first this year. And I'm not willing to give those up. Our two first round picks. Yeah, why is Tanaka on my trade block and my two first? Is this other goalie just turned into a beast or something? Okay, Tanaka has lost a lot of trade value here. I can see. I don't know why. And Lungbird's gained a lot. Yo, what's up, Bear Bear? Bear Bear, we, we had to make some defensive trade, make some defensive moves. I thought the season was going to be uh, doomed for the three-peat. But, I mean, everyone's playing goddamn good. These two leading the way at the helm. We got Bang, who's actually in the minors, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's in the minors. Should probably bring him up or trade him. One of the two options. He's going to want a big contract next year. I think we should trade Bang. We're not going to use it. We're definitely not giving him to Boston. We should try trading Bang and see what we can get for him. Even this guy here. No, I can't even afford him. Hmm. Can we move Bang for another prospect? Can we move Bang for another prospect? That's the question. You think so? All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. We definitely need a goalie. Or uh, not a goalie, a defenseman. If we're going to be trading Bang away. I just don't think we're going to be able to sign him in the offseason. So might as well get rid of him now. That guy's going to want a big contract. So can't really make a move there. Someone's offering us a trade now. Do not want that. Doubles. It's basically like a bang replacement. Same overall, but three years left. 
and the trade value is completely completely in our side so i can get like bang and then i can trade bang and i set and maybe even get their second oh these trades are killing me quinn hughes no 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 i can't give up those two first round picks they're too good you know what i'm just gonna leave it i gotta leave it quinn hughes we can't make that trade as much as i want quinn hughes on a team the two first round picks they want are way too good i'm not gonna make any trades the team's looking really good i don't want to mess with it Hopefully the game doesn't lag out because we're having an, a tremendous year. Wait till you see this bear bear. 44 and 13. I'm going to go take a look at the stats. Brook Pitt. Oh my. So Brook Banks got a whopping 92 points in 60 games. Boletsky's one point behind. He's got 91. Yulinov. Just a, f a little bit behind. Still 14 points above point per game. He's got 74. Walter's got 63. A Finneganoff, who's actually kind of been our our dark horse this year. He's having a great year. 56 points in 60 games. Emerson's 30 goals, 45 points. Gensel's having a good year. Alfredson, all these guys are having good years again. These guys just don't slow down. Every year is just a good year when you play with them. Let's go check out the entire NHL. I'm predicting that... Uh, uh, Brookbank's got to be up. Oh my god. Connor McDavid has 115 points. This guy's going to break like a modern day record. Him and Drysettle. McDavid has 52 goals, 63 assists. That's incredible. Literally incredible. Brookbank's there though, you know. He's, he's up there, but he's, he's no Connor McDavid, clearly. I wonder where Nathan McKinnon is on here. Nathan McKinnon. Oh, very, very far down the list. Very far down the list, Nathan McKinnon. All right, let's get into the playoffs. We're going for the three-peat. We're going for the three-peat. We're going for the three-peat here. Last game of the year against New York Rangers, who we have their first round pick too. Honestly, I'm just saying, this year, we can potentially win the Stanley Cup and get the number one and number two overall pick from the draft lottery. And we can get a 60-win season here. I've never gotten a 60-win season in NHL 20. Let's go. I want a 60-win season. The dynasty is happening. Eugene Melnick promised, and I delivered. Come on. 60 wins. We can do it. 60 wins. Come on. No, you can't lose to these bums. Vancouver. They're fighting for... Okay. Seven more wins. Oh, no. We could only lose two more games. One more game. We got to win the rest of the games this year. We got to win the rest. Come on, beat the Leafs. Don't let them break our dream. Beat Detroit. Let's go. Yeah, 58. 59. 60. 60 win season for the Ottawa Senators. You know, let's just go out on top. Let's go out, let's go out with a bang. Let's go out with a bang. First period, let's go. 1-1. One, one. Wright gets a shorthanded goal for us. They get one. A fin again off. The same guy scores for them. That's fine. We got a 60 win season. That's all I care about. 60 win season. You got it. You got to put together a pretty damn good team to get the 60 wins. And I thought defensively our team would not be that good this year. And we got Boston in, or Buffalo in the first round. My apologies. How many points do you think Brookbank got? This guy probably put up 131. God damn, he's a beast. 129 for Bulecki took over at the end of the year. He really took over around at the end of the year. He was one point behind Brookbank. So Bulecki and Brookbank both put up 80 assists. Start with that. And our top line all had 40 goals. Walter put up 70 assists. Afenagenov put up 70 assists. Is this guy, is that his rookie year? This guy's rookie year. He puts up 70 assists. This guy's going to win rookie of the year for sure. 18 goals, 69 assists. 
It's like he was playing in the AHL still. The exact same stats. Exact same stats. This guy's a beast. Finn again off what a year. Emerson, 41 goals. King, 32 goals. I'm pretty sure he's playing a third line center position. 31 goals, not bad. I will see how they compare to the rest of the league. Just one sec. I got Dan Daniel Offerton's son. Daniel Offerton's son puts up 43 points. Just about one point every two games. To Chucky e. Cheese. Malstrom, the big defenseman we traded for. 83 overall now. What a year. Let's go check it out. Connor McDavid's probably has 154 points. 145 points for Connor McDavid. Oh my god. How do you compete with this? How do you compete with this player right here? 34 years old, putting up 145 points. That's got to be his best year ever. Okay, let's see. 145. Definitely his best year ever. He only failed to get 100 points this one year. That one year is the only year he failed to get 100 points. And this, this is this year, like in real life. The shortened season. This guy is... Pfft. How do you compete with this guy? 65 goals, 65 goals, 50 goals, 56, 58, 56 here, 58 there, 67, 40, 48. Like, it's insane. For Boletsky, though, that's our superstar. This is our superstar. The years he's been with us, 129 points, 132, 118. Every year, 50 plus goals, except for this year, he got 80 assists. Let's go check out the the goalies. See who did the best there. This goalie played 70 games? Jeez. Okay, let's see. Where's Tanaka? Tanaka only played 55 games. And he wasn't even that great, to be honest. Tanaka was... I want to go see our stats for that. Our goalie stats. Lundberg, this guy's a stud. Oh my God, Lundberg. This guy was unreal this year. Tanaka was, I mean, like, look at the number difference. They both had two or three points, two points. Wow, this goalie was a beast. Johan Lundberg. If playoffs get, if they're up. If it gets rough in the playoffs, I know who I'm starting. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. All right, everyone. Ottawa Senators, Buffalo Sabres, first round playoffs. I'll see you guys next episode.